Good morning, people. <laughs> My name is Coach Simmons. No, no, no. Not the Coach Simmons and fam you that's coaching in the Celebration Bowl in Atlanta a couple of days. I'm different Coach Simmons. Do me a favor if you would. Please comment. Tell me if I'm wrong, I'm right. I'll respond to the comment section. Give me a, sh a share and subscribe. I only ask you like it, if you really do like it. Now let's get into it. I want to give thanks to the College Football Playoff Committee. Oh yeah. The parting gift y'all gave us was a conversation which is going to start today. The opening of the transfer portal. I want you to understand something. My channel, we cover FCS and HBC mostly. And with this right here, I want you to understand what they're really doing to you. Everybody realized during COVID, everybody got a COVID year, an extra year to play or transfer if you want to transfer anywhere in the country. Well, thank God those kids who got the COVID year, most of them, they're finishing out their career next year. Finally. But the thing you gotta understand, and I bring it back to the college football playoff committee and the NCAA. What they did was they created a monster without knowing they created the monster. So now with that with Florida State right here, Florida State was shafted. And I'll say that again. Florida State was shafted. They believe they deserve to be in the college football playoff. I'm sorry. But the thing is, what did that do? Now, we know Jordan Travis can't come back. He's a senior, supposedly. But most of the other people who are going to graduate and probably get to the NFL, the XFL, USFL, they still got that COVID year. Now you gotta think to yourself, do I wanna try and hope and pray that I get drafted in one of these leagues? Now it was three, now it's two leagues? Or do I wanna come back and play at Florida State? Hmm. Think about it. You're the big man on campus. All the chicas know your name. You already got the bag from FSU and you're living in Florida. The beach is down the street. Do you want to go try to play in Cleveland? You want to try to play in Detroit? My dad's from Detroit, so I can say that. I want to come back and play one more year, give one more shot to get Florida State to the national championship again. We have a 12 team playoff. Yeah, I thought so. But here's where the parting gift comes into the fact. Those kids come back. A lot of the other kids who came in after COVID, they don't get the COVID year. And of course, NCAA new rules and bylaws state you can no longer transfer to schools on the FBS level without sitting out a year. Hear that. You can no longer transfer to an FBS school without sitting a year out. That comes to play what my channel's about. FCS and HBCU. I think what they're trying to do with these leagues and teams shifting all over the place and the rules they're putting in, they are looking to make the F C S and HBCUs in general junior colleges. The Florida State Seminoles response to Deion Sanders not getting the job and the flack they got when he went to Jackson State was to copy every damn thing HBCU they could. They projected themselves and promoted themselves as the blackest school in America on an FBS level until 
Theon himself got to Colorado. Everything they did, the uniforms, the music from the bands, the all of that, they damn near copied FAMU to a T. They were more FAMU than people would think FAMU was. But that's a backfire, somewhat. The school in Tallahassee is down the street. A lot of these kids, like I said, they want to play. But they don't want to sit out. We're going to just mosey on to the transfer portal today and call Mr. Simmons up, the other Coach Simmons, or Coach Taylor, whoever the hell Grambling or Southern get his coach. They're going to call them up and say, hey, I'm available, but only for a year. If they're freshmen, for two years. That's what Travis Hunter did, right? Only for a year. <laughs> well, I learned the culture and get some good food. That is what's happening right now. The parting gift is they're treating you as less than. The kids that don't pan out, the kids that don't want to wait, are going to come. Only for a rental. That's why a lot of schools now on FCS are going up because if they stay in the FCS, when this stuff happens and comes down, it lowers their program prestige. Your school is seen as the next blend junior college. <laughs> That's what they're going to perceive you as. So I think what we need to do and I know it's controversial, but those kids who are only coming for a year and gonna get promoted and hyped by all these other channels, I know it, I see it now. I see people dropping videos every five minutes, claiming this kid was a five star in 2001, has one year left, has been left over and coming to your school. I get it. I'm not hating, but I, I just get it. But we gotta understand that's the gift we got. The gift we got, we're finna get a bunch of rentals who are only gonna be around one, two years max. And if your school's okay with that, if your school and your fan base are okay with being a rental way station, then don't come young and me when none of those kids pan out for the titles you wanted to bring you. Coach Simmons, I'm out.